Okay, so um, the plan here is to very quickly go through some of the stuff that we've covered um, thus far in Excel. Um, I'm going to assume you know very little other than just the very basics. So one of the first problems we did was the Fibonacci sequence. And the idea was that we had <clears throat> two um, parameters that go into this, those two cells there. And then what we wanted is to write a formula that took uh, the cell above the cell we're on plus the cell two steps up uh, and added those together. And by doing that, we are able to write a formula that will, or I think it's, yeah, formula, that will work a Fibonacci. Um, the reason these are red is because uh, that's our way to indicating to the user, because clearly a lot of times what you're doing is making your Excel spreadsheet for another person, um, indicating to the user which values they should actually put numbers into as opposed to, um, you know, things that have formulas in them you wouldn't want to change. So uh, to rename a sheet, you go down here to the bottom and click rename. You have to click on that tab, right click on that tab to get it to come up. And then you just type in um, like that. Um, the next thing we worked on was we looked at a um, sheet that could do multiple choice grading. And so you would have the number correct in this column and the grade that they would be assigned in this column. And so if you had, say, a 50-question test, 50 would be the most number they could have correct. I'm going to make that red because it's the only parameter that will be used on this entire sheet. Uh, now, the deal here is they can only score less than 50. So instead of adding in our uh, formula, we subtract. So if you look at that formula right there, it's just the one above it, minus one. I want to point out, of course, that when we um, are copying these things, you want to move your mouse until it looks like that dark plus sign there on the corner, and you can click, click and drag down, and that will allow you to copy it. Um, notice that my reference here was B3 minus 1, but when I copied it by dragging it like that, this one became B4 minus 1, and this one became B5 minus 1. So when you're dragging one of these things downward, the numerical portion of the cell reference is what's going to change. Um, and I'll show you later what happens when you drag them sideways. But for now, we're just going to do that. Now, <clears throat> there are times that you don't want a reference to change as you're dragging it. To give an example of that is what we want to put in this cell. If somebody scored 44, the value in that cell, out of 50, the value in that cell, um, they would get 0.88 of the possible points. If you change that format to percent, an 88%. Um, we're going to be changing the numbers later where we will have decimal values. So I want to go ahead, using this button here, and increase the decimal values that are displayed. So you need to know how to turn something into percent or money or change your um, number of decimal places by using those. Um, so this cell is correct. But now, because of the nature of the way it copies, if I were to drag this upward, for instance, this gives me an error. And the reason it's giving me an error is that while B8 is the correct reference, B2 is not. When I drag this upward, the B3 that we typed in down here in this cell becomes B2, because that's what happens when you click and drag um, formulas up or down. It changes the numerical reference, and that's an error. So what we want, we don't want that, I'm going to just get control Z on that, is we want to write this formula, craft this formula so that when I move it up and down, the numerical portion, the 3, doesn't change, that it's always referring to B3. Um, the easiest way to do that is to insert dollar signs, like so. Um, the dollar sign is an instruction to Excel not to change those values as you drag them up and down. Um, we actually have a name for these two kinds of references. References like this, the B9, that will change as you drag them around. Those are called uh, uh, relative references. Relative. They relate to where you happen to have the, um, wherever you happen to copy that, that value to. These are called absolute references, the ones with the dollar signs. And those do not relate to where you are on the page. They refer specifically to a particular location that is unchanging. So now that we've made that alteration, when I click and drag this 
you can see now this is correct. The B$3, the dollar B$3 did not change. Only the numerator changed on that. And so um, that allows us to have this dynamic um, equation that will alter based on where you are on the sheet. This allows us to be able to change this to say 40 and the entire sheet is changing dynamically and appropriately along the way. Um, very quickly we want to rename that to be MC greater. The next uh, part of the lesson that I'm going to put in here will be um, I'm going to show you how to copy this into a new tab and we'll delete some of this but keep some of this um, and then be able to add um, further information. So. That's a real quick email. I mean, um, uh, video on you know simple um, formulas and how you might use those, and more complex formulas and how you might do that.